Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking you through a full achievement playthrough of Tobias Weber's Late Shift. First off, I'd just like to say for anyone who hasn't played the game yet, I'd really recommend playing through it at least once before starting this guide. It's a really well made game and deserves a lot more credit than it already has. Also, for anyone who's played the game, it would be cool to know which ending you got on your own, if you want to leave a comment down below. With that said, this guide's going to take you through two different playthroughs. Just follow my actions on screen and to save ourselves from playing through it seven different times for the Expert Storyteller achievement, we're just going to quit out the game as soon as we trigger each different ending as the game will let us resume from a previous checkpoint. Now I'm going to keep narration to a minimum in this video and just let you guys follow what's on screen. I'll also leave a guide down in the description showing which options you need to choose for the achievements to pop up. Some people say we're all connected, all part of some bigger picture, some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train. Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he's saturated with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit.
get signed? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favour. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favour. How do I know you're good for your favours? You can bank my favours. Fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah, you're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. in the car. Wait, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. We checked your gear. Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure we have the checking gear, sir. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He 
fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. A couple of weird dreams. This will all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! This guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. And what do I get in return? Don't push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. 9.20. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once, 
950 twice. So for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is for its time. Just Thank try to keep your powder dry. Eh? I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the bowl there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of the red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the you, Richard, on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. Again, thank time. you, madam. Do you have eleven, it's your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so you know, price we have eleven five. An algorithmic curve, derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid, bid at eleven, madam. What is eleven five? Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five, no it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, man. 12-5. Are we all out? At 12-5, fair warning. I'm selling. 12-5 once. 12-5 twice. So, to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. 
All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Call it down. They linger. We need to come out the front. Bring the car to the front of the building. Trust you. What the hell went wrong?
have it. Thanks. Fuck. Where are the others? In. Jeff, where are the others? Ask him. Let's get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we gotta get out. All right? Fuck. to Woos to finish what you started. It's Mr. Woos. Yeah, but that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, OK? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, OK? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? I want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Williams. 
Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. I've never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. I didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not to Lynn. Follow me, please. Tell me. No. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your bow. My bow? Adam, turn by your way. Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Troy family, possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom, go on, Cordae Tohoi. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart.
Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was a choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go. Did you believe Wu? They knew nothing about the job. You looked convincing, didn't you? Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. <sighs> no, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, please. Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it.
someone downstairs. destroy the bowl just like that just stop will you when they find us they're gonna fucking kill us it's not that simple yeah with you it never is just stop i can explain inside you destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive the one thing why would you do that it's total madness tell me why Because it was a fake. I'm sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who watched it. Fuck. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lighter just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please, you have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay? I make the decisions, and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy who was selling the bowl? He couldn't part with it. But he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. You didn't believe that, though, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit. Where's the original now? I don't know. I can see Pa must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At Hainsworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on an effect called thermoluminescence. Thermoluminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain was fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? Oh, fuck me. You mean... I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's gonna regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating him up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious.
So sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was terrible. Yes, of course. I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's Hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. It's Jeff getting his kicks. As you can see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? The night somehow started badly. Oh, I'm sorry, you got involved. Well, what was I doing there anyway? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're in a bit of a hurry. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, no. Uh, no, Sebastian Leclerc, I'm afraid. Maybe they took him to Guy's. That was a lie. Excuse me? Just like you lied in the garage about Dr. Brent knowing you were taking his keys. <sighs> Come on, Matt. Let's try the other desk. Wait. Shit. No. She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she certainly won't be able to tell you he's in room 703. Thank you. What? I didn't tell you anything. So, um, who's the girl? Oh, I know from work. She works here? No, my work. Her boyfriend parks his car there. I see. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? Oh, you wish. They won't let me use the internet. Oh, my God. I know. You must be, like, 80, right? No, no, no. I think I just worked out how Paul got the bowl out of the auction house. What? Come on.
Where are you? You remember me, right? You, you shouldn't be here. Nurse! Nurse! Listen to me. I'm a peaceful woman. I don't want to hurt you. But if you try that again, believe me, the bits of you that hurt already are going to get much worse. Do you understand me? Do we have an agreement? Uh, yes. Good. Now tell us about your deal with Samuel Paul. We know you replaced the force in rice bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. Wait, wait, wait. Where is the rice bowl? It's stolen. Look at me, I was beaten up. Where is it? Where'd you put the original? I didn't put it anywhere. I know you switched it, Sebastian. Where is it? I haven't taken it. This is a definite line. Do I really want to cross this? No, I can't do it. I just can't talk to someone in the hospital bed. Don't you get too comfortable, mate. You're still up to your neck in this, all right? The chores are after anyone who came into contact with their bowl. Now what? We know he swapped it, but why did he take it? That's right. We do know he swapped it. And he must have reported it to Pa. I don't understand. Look, you're the one who made the thing, okay? So Pa knows you'd recognize it in an instant. What do you think he'd say? If he thought Laughing Boy here had fucked up in all the excitement. Let's find out. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Park. Oh, it's moving. It's 5.30 in the morning and he answered on the first ring. He doesn't have it. He's waiting for the news. Yes, I'm still here. What the hell happened tonight? People are dead. I was involved, but the job was a fake, and so was the accident. Just too convenient. The ball in fire, impossible to be dated. I survived the crash, yes. Yes, yes, I did. And it's lucky for you that I did, because your inside man, whoever he was, fucked up. Perhaps. <laughs> oh, stop pretending. I've got the original. I can tell the difference between the original and my forgery, Mr. Pa. I'm calling because I want to make an offer. I'm not... Listen to me. I'm not interested. I don't care. I'm prepared to bring you the original, but I want protection from the choice. Think it over. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, shit. Now, mate, I would say it's somewhat in your best interest to help us stop par. Wouldn't you agree? We? Oui. Where is the original? I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth's? Yes. Okay, you can take that off now. We have to go back to Hainsworth. How the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But he does. Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we... Yeah. We're never here, right? 
You never heard about the hidden compartment. Go on soon. Yeah, yeah. Good now. What the fuck happened? We have her. You find the ball. Bring it to us. Who the fuck is this? Bring it to the lobby of our hotel by 9 tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello. What do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down. I'm waiting for someone, thanks. How the hell am I going to find Van Seven from out here?
away with this. I mean, I never met you before tonight, mate. What is this? Fuck it. This thing's worth 10 million. Look, I'll, I'll go back there, I'm gonna get killed. And I don't owe anything to anyone. What do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down. I'm waiting for someone, thanks. How the hell am I going to find Van Seven from out here?
That's a lot of fucking money. I could just walk away with this. Hello. It's me. Wait. They're gonna fucking kill you. I can't do that anyway. We need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. <sighs> Any suggestions? We need to get part admit. Salsi. Salsi, no. Wait. Wait, don't go wrong. Wei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance. What do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down. I'm waiting for someone, thanks. How the hell am I going to find Van Seven from out here?
just walk away with this. Hello? It's me. Mate. I don't have much time. Have you got the ball? Yeah. I'm going to back a bank to a third. I've got it in my hand. Don't bring it here. What are you talking about? They're going to fucking kill you. I can't do that anyway. I need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. <sighs> Any suggestions? We need to get part of this. Salsi. Salsi, no. Mei. Mei Ling. Fuck. Mei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance. No, I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. Speak to the chief psycho. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Pa. Oh, Mr. Pa does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he'll want to see me. And he'll want to see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't? Mr. Parr? Uh, thank you, Ella. I'll deal with this. Are you looking for something? Did Mei Ling send you? We know each other, yeah. Where is it? Well, like Mei Ling already told you, Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. Don't play games with me. Where is it? You mean this? stupid to come in here with the real one, do you? Where's the original? Mailing has it. What does she want? I don't know. Ask her. Mr. Pa? Clever little girl, aren't you?
What the hell do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down. I'm waiting for someone, thanks. How the hell am I going to find Van Seven from out here? Kill you. How can you do that anyway? We need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. <sighs> Any suggestions? We need to get part of it. Sol Sina. Sol Sina. Mei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance. I live with that. I just need some kind of plan. Yeah, I got it. Bring it to us. No, not you, mate. I want to speak to the chief psycho. Samuel Paul? Oh, Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he'll want to see me. And he'll want to see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't? Mr. Parr? Uh, thank you, Willow. I'll deal with this. Are you looking for something? Did Mei Ling send you? We know each other, yeah. Where is it? Well, like Mei Ling already told you, Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. 
Don't play games with me. Where is it? You mean this? Is. The copy. Don't think it was so stupid to come in here with a real one, do you? How did you find out? I think Mailing can recognise her own work when she sees it. What do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down. I'm waiting for someone, thanks. How the hell am I going to find Van Seven from out here?
Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he thank has you. Well, I, I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intrude at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I was standing right next to Mei Ling when she called you. I know the whole story. Oh, really? Yeah. And we were both standing next to Sebastian Leclerc when you called him. So stop with the fucking pretending! D -d 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 language, dear boy. What do you want? I want the original. I thought Mei Ling had the original. Yeah, well, apparently not. Well, as the two of you have so clearly outsmarted me, what can I possibly tell you? We can discuss this sensibly or not. I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? But wait. is over. Oh! Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? You won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Fuck you. <laughs> Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he has Thank you. Well, I, I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. 
I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt, how did you come by this extraordinary theory? I was standing right next to Maylene when she called you. I know the whole story. Oh, really? Yeah. And we were both standing next to Sebastian Leclerc when you called him. So stop with the fucking pretending! D -d 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 language, dear boy. What do you want? I want the original. I thought Mei Ling had the original. Yeah, well, apparently not. Well, as the two of you have so clearly outsmarted me, what can I possibly tell you? We can discuss this sensibly or not. I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? But wait. All right. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me. Come on. Seven nine nineteen zero one. Oh, so it's like that now, is it? You don't think I'm just going to give it to you just like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you're going to do. The bowl's not here. Then where is it? It's not here. I am serious. Don't shoot, don't shoot. It isn't here. It's still at Hainsworth's. You said you picked it up last night. I couldn't get it. Not with the police there. It's still in the vault. Then when's it being delivered? When? Why would I tell you? OK. OK. Then we'll wait here, together with the choice. No, 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 wait. What? Keep me out of this. I'll give you a million pounds if you keep my involvement from the choice. You could take a hundred thousand pounds right now, right out of the safe. Rest later. A million pounds? What? And you get scot-free, do you? Scot-free. Yeah. Yeah, OK. But if I don't get the rest of the money, the choice will find out. Whatever it takes. I'll call Hainsworth and tell him that the chest is being picked up. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? 
Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he has Thank you, Willa. Well, I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt, how did you come by this extraordinary theory? I was standing right next to Mayling when she called you. I know the whole story. Oh, really? Yeah. And we were both standing next to Sebastian the Clark when you called him. So stop with the fucking pretending! D -d 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 language, dear boy. What do you want? I want the original. I thought Mei Ling had the original. Yeah, well, apparently not. Well, as the two of you have so clearly outsmarted me, what can I possibly tell you? We can discuss this sensibly or not. I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? But wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me, come on. Seven nine nineteen zero one. Oh, so it's not like that now, is it? You don't think I'm just gonna give it to you just like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you're gonna do. The bowl's not here. Then where is it? It's not here. I am serious. Don't shoot, don't shoot. It isn't here. It's still at Hainsworth's. You said you picked it up last night. I couldn't get it. Not with the police there. It's still in the vault. Then when's it being delivered? When? Why would I tell you? OK. OK. Then we'll wait here. Together with the choice. No, 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 wait. What? Keep me out of this. I'll give you a million pounds if you keep my involvement from the choice. You could take a hundred thousand pounds right now, right out of the safe. Rest later. A million pounds? What? And you get scot-free, do you? Scot-free. No. No, I don't think so, Mr. Parr. There are some things enough your money can't buy. And I'm one of them. Who are you calling? Sit down. Yes, me. Sometime today, I don't know. The girl dies in one hour. No, 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 no. You, you have to keep her alive. You have to believe me.
Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me. Uh, this train Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> Think your boyfriend's an arsehole? <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favour. 
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than my job's worth. So you're a good boy. Shame. <laughs> Didn't you ever steal a sweet from the sweet shop? Not sweets are expensive. I promise I will bring it back. Nah, no, forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a two hundred thousand pound car out of here tonight. All right? What? Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Drop it. Smile. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. We checked your gear. Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure we're checking gear, so... Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. They have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Dan Evie doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me diphenoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. 
Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. A couple of weird dreams, and it'll all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! This guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. So, what's the plan? This is what's gonna happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. 9.20. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. On the left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once, 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its Hidden compartment, which is 150 grand for its time. Just Thank try you. to keep Very it powder dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Go upstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three oh, simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of the red there. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner 
Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. I'm looking for 9-5, ladies and gentlemen, 9-5. Nine, 9-5, five. Nine, five. Nine, five to my right. So do I hear 10? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break 10. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking mind? 10 we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 10 is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear 10-5? You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna Again, have a thank time. you, madam. You have eleven, it's your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so because you know price. We have eleven five. Logarithmic curve, derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid. bid. At eleven, madam. What well, is five and a half percent? Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five, no it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. 11.5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, man. 12.5. Are we all out? At 12.5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12.5 once. 12.5 twice. So to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Okay, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there.
Hello? Don't make this any worse. It's under control. And then let Jeff put it down. Now. What the fuck happened? Things are complicated. No oh, shit. The video feed's cut. Well, oh, I fucking hope so. Did you get the code for the gate? Yeah, but my gear's still upstairs. We're gonna leave it. We're out of here. I think it's pricking with you. Yeah, no worries. Sweet, see you later. Right, let's go. Okay, you enter three zero nine two two zero. Three zero nine two zero. Yeah, enter. Enter. Good to hear. Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Woo's place and it turns into money. Too fucking right. You want to take a left? Some Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. Sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out!
Mate. Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, this petrol, look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. to Woos to finish what you started. To Mr. Woos? Yeah, but that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, OK? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, OK? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four on me, please. It's going wrong. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. M mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, wait here. A fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. Four on me, please. Tell me. No. Could they while you're gone, you yet when I go? That's him. Go on.
What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a bow. My bow? Adam, turn by Joe, yeah? Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family, Possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atam! Go on, Corday Tohoi! Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fucking great. I still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole that damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations on my gut are doing exactly the same thing? You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. No. No, I'm going to the police, Mei Ling. You coming with me? You want to take the damn things to the police on your own? Be my guest. Oh. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. 
Pass the buck. You know, you might still get killed. Now, let me get this straight. Earlier tonight, you were forced, against your will, to take part in a robbery. And now we're turning the proceeds of said robbery to the authorities. Yeah. And what exactly that you were turning? It's a Chinese porcelain bowl. Stay there. I'm under arrest. Not yet. You allege someone forced you to steal this? Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. We'll be the judge of that, sir. Like you said. So you claim that you were blackmailed by other members of this gang, all of whom it transpires are now dead, into stealing this antique bowl from the Hamesworth auction house. That about right? Pretty much, yeah. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. Took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. That it has. We went to see this Chinaman who was supposed to have hired them to steal the bowl, but... We? What? You said we went to see a Chinaman. You told me that everyone else had been killed in the van explosion. There was a girl. Oh, you do surprise me. Where's she at? I don't know. Again, convenient. Now, why don't you tell me why you stole this bowl? And who you stole it for? I've told you. It's for this guy, Mr. Wu. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch. That's all I know about him. The Hong Kong city in Shoreditch High Street? S so you've heard of him? Tony Wu was found murdered in the back office of his restaurant less than an hour ago. What? And you openly admit having been there tonight. He was alive. When you got there, maybe. How about when you left? Mr. Thompson, are you refusing to answer my questions? He was alive when I left. That is God's honest truth. Either way, it doesn't look good for you, does it? I didn't kill him. Yeah, and I had no choice in the robbery. I I've come in to help. What more do you want me to do? I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognize this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... Between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Matthew Thompson. 
I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery and on suspicion of the murder of Tony Wu. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you like to rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Look, when I left that building, Wu was alive. You've got to believe me. Tell it to your solicitor. <laughs> Vehicle 721 in position on City Road. Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want you to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. Get a year or two off your sentence. Can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? Clive, you see this? Where is he? I don't know. I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will become even longer. Where is the ball? I haven't got it. Lies. The police informed us. The rightful owners. About what we've done. Where are you hiding it? Oh, look, I haven't got your fucking rice ball. Or... Disrespect will punish. Now for the final time, where is the ball you took from the auction? Not the copy you brought to the police. The original. The original ball that you stole. Where? You've got the wrong guy. What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? I never met her before tonight. Okay, I, I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? As far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. He got me. Lord, what is it? Where are you? Are you not going to kill me? Tell me. Where are you? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Bowl equals pain. The longer you have bowl, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fucking hell. No, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The ball is ours. First to tell the truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma. Game theory first term. 
Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. The, the short one. A quick death, but painful. Dagger does not go in far. But when he's removed, the barbs tear the intestines, shred them. Death comes within an hour. I thought you said it was quick. Where is the bowl? The original bowl. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. There is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. You're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Gong Daiwa. Oh, <laughs> Where is the original? Do we repeat? I don't know. Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? <laughs> Fuck. She following the strategy. If I get this wrong, the mailing gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. Every finger and every knuckle continuing, every joint. You will see daylight, but still, it will continue. Where is the original? Christ, that girl's tough. Do I even believe that she's in there? Is she a part of this? Is she a part of the gang and they think that I'm the only one who knows where the original is? Am I just prolonging the inevitable? Fuck. Fuck. Do I trust her? Then I'll see you in the fucking morning, mate. <laughs> The lady says you lied to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. Decided. You bring us the ball, she stays as hostage. If you fail, she dies. <laughs>
Okay. Pa. I have to make this fucker pay for what he's done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? All right. Just keep walking. Just keep moving. on stage had it, right before we stole it. Right, how do I find him? Sebastian at home. Uh, who's speaking, please? I, it's, um, it's Stan from work. I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he all right? Is he at home? No, no, he's not well. He's been taken to the hospital. There's a serious concussion. It's horrible. Um, I, I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's. Thank you. I, I'm really sorry this happened. I'm sorry, though. All right. Let's pay this poor guy a visit. And there we have it, 1000G in less than 3 hours. I hope you guys found this video helpful and feel free to suggest any other achievement guys you'd like to see in the future.